We're almost set for action here as we take a look at the starting goaltenders. Doug Bucken getting the nod for the Peterborough Lakers. Matt Vince on the bench backing him up. And at the other end, the tandem of the Orleman brothers. And tonight it's going to be Kevin Orleman. He's in there somewhere. You can see his purple pads right between the pipes. And he'll get the nod with his brother Steve on the bench. Hawkins has three guys all over him. Trying to strip the ball from the youngster. Now he's got an opening. Shoots and scores. Get him the game ball as Ethan Hawkins gets his first major series lacrosse league goal. When, when, uh, you know, just once we talked about that a little bit earlier, right? Just hard work and play, and then that's what these young call-ups are, are expected to do, right? You know, you might not get every single touch, and you might not get every single possession, but if you work hard off ball and then pick up just loose balls and go to the cage, you know, good things are about to happen. And congratulations on your first senior A goal. Trying to find a cutter, nobody home. Shot through traffic and scores. Chris Atwood with a long outside bomb through a whole bunch of traffic. No chance for Buck in there, and it's 1-1. And that's right in Chris's wheelhouse too, right? You know, he might, he might not be the fastest guy, and he might not be the strongest guy, but boy, can this kid shoot the ball, and, and that shot just had eyes, right? You know, there, there, there's two or three screens there, and he just puts it low, just puts it low down by where Dougie can't really see it. You know, we got a great swing pass across, and Chris is looking for a shot, looking for a shot. One, two, three Lakers there, and he just bounces it low, far side, low glove. Just a beautiful shot by the young fella. That's a tough one for a goaltender when you see three of your own jerseys before you see the shot. By Ward. Ward feeds it over to Hogarth. Nice swim move, scores. Thomas Hogarth with a nice move. And Ward is going to pick up his first major series lacrosse assist on that pass. I was almost like Thomas Hogarth, Thomas Hogarth told that guy, just excuse me, I'm going to go right down the middle here and I'm going to do everything that I want. We're going to score. That was just an unbelievable swim move. Great, great setup by the young young call up too, but you know that's just that goal is just pure pure skill by Thomas Hogarth. I just, oh, absolutely disgusting swim move. The just, fake underhand shot before too had everyone biting. Scooped up by the Kodiaks, it's Tyler Halls, feeds it up and Bucken has a piece of it, but it ends up going in. Brian Rice, who's had several chances here tonight. He ties it up for the Kodiaks. And we'll take a look. Brian Rice all alone. Looked like Buck and had it, but then he knew. He turned right behind. He knew he didn't have all of it. Pass out to Katoni. They're not going to get anything going here. And Coburg scores on the empty net right at the buzzer. And they're going to take a 3-2 lead into the break as Owen down with a nice heads up play. Or actually, that was Brian Rice, pardon me, his second goal in a row. Let things go, but here we are, four on four. And Vitarelli scores. He put everything behind that one. You knew he was frustrated from that last sequence of events, and he just buries it. I just a great swing pass, quick stick. You know, we're, we're, we got Katoni coming across the middle here. He sees the righty wide open, righty swing pass, and then, and then that's a dogger, dogger shot every single time, right? He's going to bury that nine out of ten times. Katoni shoots and scores. A rocket from the outside, and he restores the Lakers' lead. And there, there's that heat of a shot that we talk about, right? You know, uh, eventually it's going to go in. He keeps shooting with that, that much heat behind it. it it's going to find a hole eventually. Right, so th th this is just patience, 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 and then he knows he's shooting it. As soon as as soon as he's got he, he's got Hoagie coming on the on the wrong side for a pick, right? There, there's no sense in making that pass to Hoagie, so he knows he's shooting that every time, and and eventually, as we say, they're going to go in when you got that hard of a shot. Back out to Pilon. Pilon fakes the shot, dishes it in, scores. Tanner Buck on the doorstep. It's a power play goal to tie this one up at four. So, you know, we, you got a great two-man game here. You, you got Hopi going up and down, up and down. Sweets is a little late on the slide, and Tanner Buck just reaches across, puts it low stick side on, on Doug Bucken. As Jordan Storos doing the defense. Back the other way, shoots and scores. Matt Gilray on transition. In the blink of an eye, that's how quick it can happen. And the Lakers have a 5-4 lead, just 39 seconds into the third period. And we'll see how it all starts up. A loose ball battle right in front, and then watch Gilray. 
Yeah, he's he, gone. He, he just says, see you later. He puts his head down. He's going going right to the cage. He knows he's shooting the whole way, and that's just a great shot by Matt Gilray. And the Lakers with another chance off the faceoff and back the other way. Come the Kodiaks and scores. Orderman makes a huge save, and then back the other way. Curtis Conley responds with a transition goal of his own, and we're knotted back up once again. It's 5-5. And that's just, just ironic timing, right? Curtis Conley and I talked about it in the second intermission. That reverse transition is going to be absolutely key for Coburg. You know, they want to keep that potent, potent Lakers offense off the floor. And when they can get transition goals like this, you know, that just keeps them on the bench. And what a beautiful, beautiful finish by Curtis, you know. And here comes Gilray once again. All alone, nobody near him, and Gilray scores. His second goal of the period, and we're not even two and a half minutes in, and it's a 6-5. Lakers lead. The Colbert guy is, he, he's taking a late shot. And Matt Gilray, he just starts leaking early. Starts leaking early, but he's, you know, a, a breakaway, buries it. Low stick side, you know, it's a tough save for a goalie. A great play by a veteran, veteran leader and a great transition player. There's a shot, he scores. A heavy overhand bounce shot from Pilon. And we are all tied up at six. Yeah, it's a great shot by the youngster, right? The kid from St. Catharines, early draft pick, just comes across the top. But this is what we're talking about, right? We got to get Dougie Bucket moving. You got to get him, you know, if he squares up to the net, he's going to see the ball, or if, sorry, if he squares up to the shot, he's going to see the ball, and he's going to make the save more often than not, right? But you got Pilon kind of coming over, kind of coming over the top of the middle here. Hesitate, hesitate, hesitate. And then you just got, you got Dougie moving, so now you can put it back to where he comes from, right? That's what, that's what you want to see, is you want to have the ball moving across the top, and you want to kind of put it back to where the goalie's coming from. It kind of gives him a chance not, you know, you don't have much of a chance to make that save when you're going down low glove like that. Play resumes into the corner. Hogarth out to Katoni. He's all alone, shoots and scores! Holden Katoni wins it in overtime. And the Lakers have defeated the Kodiaks by a score of seven to six. I, 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 unbelievable shot by Holden Katoni, but I don't understand how Colbert doesn't react to that, right? Like, you got Austin Hayes and limping off. Holden Katoni is literally standing in the middle of three Colbert Kodiaks and somehow, some way, gets, gets the rebound, get, gets a great shot off, and just hammers the ball low. Like, that is just an absolute hammer of a shot low. No goalie is going to have a hard, every, sorry, every goalie is going to have a hard time saving that one. Just gets them to open up, right? And this is what we're talking about, the same thing with Colbert. They're shooting straight on, shooting straight on. Dougie Bucken just square up, square up, square up, right? This one, you know, the ball swings, and then Doug, or Kevin Rollerman has to move, has to open up, just buries that five-hole. Beautiful shot, game, set, match.